Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another 7 days to die video and once again I have another build for you but this one is slightly different as it's not really a, a base I would call it I would say it's more of a home I, I guess but yeah alright it's more of a modern sort of house that I've built with RJ RJ helped me with this, we built this together and I thought I would uh, take you around and show you a bit but before we continue any further I want to let you guys know I am giving away two games I don't know what they are, they're random they're just two steam keys that I got from a friend. He says they are quite expensive, so, you know, it's not bad to get some free games. No? Maybe? Okay. All I know is that they're not 7 days to die, so I'm sorry for that. But who knows what else they could be. But if you want to take part in that, you just got to join our Discord and uh, go to one of the chats, the discussion chat. Post a picture of your favorite base or your favorite build in 7 days to die. And I'll pick which one's the best and uh, you'll get the key. I got two, so I'm gonna pick two in it. Anyway, so let's get straight to it. Let's get out of this mode. I always like to stop my videos like that, nice and nice and different. Okay, so we have ourselves the nice horrible doors. I don't really like these doors, but uh, it was the best option for this base. As you can see, close them together. It looks really, really nice. We have an electric fence all the way around the side. Let me just show you a bit. All the way, I mean, all the way around. We have a uh, barbed wire on the top, uh, shotgun turrets on all corners. Now, before you guys say, wow, this is not that great. Uh, this place is not really for defending against hordes of zombies. This is more for like, you know, I'm going to come here for the day, do some crafting, uh, drop off my equipment and uh, go to my horde base, which will be elsewhere. I'm sorry about the mess. That's all over the place. Yeah, we, we um, vandalized everything. <laughs> um, what if I have? RJ just watches me vandalize everything. So let's go straight in. This is the uh, the main yard, the front of the yard. Uh, we've got two green cars because, uh, oh, why not, eh? Uh, I don't know why they're green. I just put them down. Voila, two green cars. Anyway, I've got a little pathway going on the back there. Uh, I'll take you there in a second. But yeah, you can see there's no way to actually access the walls. You can't really shoot the zombies. Like I said, it's more for just like coming to drop your loot off base. Nothing too serious. Got these nice trees that are placed on the sides. RJ built this um, farm. Well, I don't know what she was doing here. But it looks quite nice. There's some more flowers here to brighten up the place. Got some two chairs you want to hang out. You can chill and drink a beer or two. Or coffee. Uh, some pot plants. We have bulletproof glass. Just to make it a little bit stronger. This whole base is made out of steel, by the way. So I'm take a sip of my tea. There you go. Sorry, I'm drinking tea. I usually drink coffee, but uh, taking a break in coffee, coffee makes me a bit uh, anxious. Okay, so this is the lovely kitchen which RJ designed. She did a lot of work in this base. She did most most of the interior, and uh, so yeah, this is where you come eat your eat your Rice Krispies or your Fruit Loops. I don't know if you have Rice Krispies in your country, but uh, Fruit Loops for sure. Come grab a cold one in here. It's empty, but yeah, nice kitchen. Now this thing here, I designed. Uh, I actually saw this in one of, you, one of the YouTube videos that I was watching. So I didn't actually make up this design, but I think it looks really, really cool. I'm not too sure who I saw it from, so I can't really give them credit, but I didn't design this. This was not from me. But I think it really, really, really looks like a nice design for a base. So you guys want to use that, I suggest you do, because it really brings out the base a bit. Or the house, whatever you want to call it. Very nice. So this is the... The lounge, this is where me and RJ fight over the TV remote, because that happens all the time. You know, I want to watch this, and she wants to watch that, and uh, yeah, we just have a big fight in here, and that's just not good. Not good at all. But watching TV, yeah, it works out quite nicely. We have uh, cable. Yeah, we got cable. So, you know, zombie apocalypse, who cares, eh? At least we don't pay for it. We got some nice books, so if you want to read something, you know, Days of Our Lives or something, we got it here. And if you want some privacy, and no one's looking, you go in here, and this is where you take a, you do your business, not take a, you do your business here, you wash your hands over there, and you walk out, and pretend like nothing ever happened. So let's take you upstairs. This is the lovely, I would say, you know, you just got your workbench, your chemistry station, got this uh, McDonald's M, <laughs> no, not what I was going for, but to think of it now, it actually looks a bit similar, I guess. Um, yeah. Nice design. 
I've used these round design. I think it really brings out the, the walls a bit. Instead of just having a plain wall. This is the lovely bedroom where the magic happens. You know, sleeping. You know, wh what else happens in a bedroom eh, besides sleeping? Uh, more sleeping. You know, this is a family friendly a family friendly channel. So, sleeping, it happens. <laughs> so, yeah. We got a nice view here. There's the pool in the background. I'll get to that in a second. Got a nice little curtains. This is the my computer where I edit my videos for you guys to watch. Very nice. We got a nice balcony here. We take a look at the lovely view. Drink our cup of tea or coffee out here in the mornings. Let's actually put a chair down. Yeah, that's what I should do. Okay, so that's the inside of the base. Let's take you downstairs to the pool. Or what I call the entertainment area, I guess. See, very simple. Nothing too fancy or big about it. Let's look inside. Got no door, yeah? As you can see, I don't really like doors that irritate me, but I'm taking another sip of my tea. Sorry, I don't want it to get cold. That's no fun. Drinking cold tea is not tasty. Not for me, at least. So, this is where you come and lie and get a suntan. Make sure you're not wearing a bikini because you get those bikini li bikini lines, which some guys don't like, I, don't, I guess. Um, this is the fireplace. This is where you do your cooking of meats. Now, in my country, we call it a braai. So, this is where you braai your meat. In other countries, you'll call it a barbecue. So, this is a barbecue. This is where you do it. You know, put some salt and pepper on that steak. Fry it up. Got a good steak. This is the pool. Now, it's not a very deep pool because, you know, the water in this game is absolutely horrible. So, yeah. So, if you just jump and uh, do a dive, you're going to be very... Very sad, because you're going to hurt yourself really badly. I got myself a diving board here, which is a really bad idea, because like I said, it's super, super shallow, so you shouldn't... Uh, and you're going to break something, so, you know, that's not going to be fun. But, you know, let's not tell the tell people that. So, yeah, that's the outside. Oh, yeah, I want to show you this thing as well. This goes around the side, a little pathway here. Showed you uh, over there earlier, with the, with the green cars. This just goes around. Uh, let's take you over here. Okay, I got one more thing to show you. So the space is all nice and fancy, but uh, if shit gets real and the zombies are breaking in and you like losing your house, or whatever it is, you have a backup plan, and this is the backup plan. An underground bunker. Yes, I always wanted to build one of these. Those are actually the pops. Now, I, 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 when I build bunkers, I like to pretend that you know you can you need, you need air. You know you can't just breathe out of thin air. So, you need air. These are the pops that go down to the bunker. So, let's take you down there. If I can get down there. There you go. Let's close that. So, shit gets real. You can run down here. You've got two doors protecting you. And you're safe. Safe and sound. There you go. There's the bunker. we got uh, four beds. So, if you want to bring your friends down here, you can. Although, I wouldn't like to live down here for too many years. Because that would be no fun. There's no Monopoly. Uh, Monopoly, whatever however you say it. You know, there's no board games. There's just, uh, just you and the four people. See, this is where the air comes out and in. Lovely little kitchen. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, by the way, this generator over here powers the electric fence around the base. So when the base gets, when the house gets compromised, you still have the electric fence running, which is on the plus side, which is a good thing. So yeah, guys, that's the base. What do you guys think of this? Um... It took us about a day to build. It wasn't that long. If we did use creative, like I always say, we use creative because Alpha 17 is going. There's no point of doing all this work. Oh, I could be saying that for years because it's taking forever. But uh, what, what else can I say? I don't want to commit to anything. So yeah, guys. Um, like I said, if you want to uh, take part in that giveaway, uh, join our Discord. Uh, just post uh, in discussion channel a picture of your base or one you're going to build or anything like that. Send it to me. I'm interested to in seeing what you guys come up with. I might, I might steal a few ideas, but I'll always give you credit. Okay, that'll be it, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. If you're new, leave a subscribe, like, and uh, I'll check you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>